The Niger Labour Congress and the Trade Union Congress in River State have suspended a planned protest over the continued police blockade at the local government area secretariats across the state. Uh, chairman of the Labour Centers said the suspension followed reports of plans by some individuals to incite a violence under the guise of being members of Labour. But the chairman of the River State Chapter of the Algon, Honorable Orwell Hunda, as a former local government chairman, has uh, pleaded with President Bola Tinubu and the National Body of Organized Labor uh, to stop members of the Nigeria Labor Congress and the Trade Union Congress uh, from orchestrating a further damage, what he called further damage, to the state via another sponsored protest. He calls it sponsored uh, protest. He also noted that the Rivers Norgay and Labor have been infiltrated by Governor Simlai Fubara of River State, who he alleged offered NLC, TUC, and Argon members uh, a membership of Ketika Committee appointments. Also earlier, uh, the River State uh, chapter, or command rather, of the Nigeria Police Force uh, warned against Monday's planned protest under the aegis of uh, the Nigerian Union of Local Government Employees, Norge. Uh, the police said it was uh, citing credible, what it called credible intelligence, uh, that the protest will be infiltrated by uh, hoodlums seeking to hijack it in order to cause disruption and mayhem within the state. That's how the police put it. Now, but despite these calls by the police on organized labor and other groups to suspend their planned protests over the blockade of the local government areas and indeed local government tenor elongation in River State, some supporters of uh, the Minister of the Federal Capital Territory, uh, Ezebo Yesonwike, staged a protest in their various local government areas today. For instance, in Port Harcourt City local government area, uh, they gathered at the uh, post office, not far from Government House, not far from the State Secretariat, along uh, Zikiwe Road in Port Harcourt, and Marsh to uh, the Secretariat, that's the local government Secretariat, which is next door to the um, demolished State House of Assembly. But they met a police barricade, which uh, has blocked all the all access to the council secretariat. Indeed, since last week, all the local governments have been barricaded. But earlier, uh, the Ketika committee chairman, 23 of them, uh, sworn in by Governor Fubara, um, expressed support for the continued barricade of the council secretariats by the police. The chairman stated this under the aegis of the Association of Local Governments uh, of Nigeria, Algon, at a briefing in Port Hackett the River State Capitol yesterday. Well, in a related development, the Ketika Committee Chairman of um, the 23 local government areas in River State have expressed support, uh, as we said, for that continued barricade of the local government council secretariats by the police. We want to introduce our guest uh, this evening. He joins us uh, live via uh, video link uh, from Port Hackett. Uh, of course, uh, he, of course, uh, is uh, Dr. Eze Fine a council member of the Trade Union Congress in River State. Uh, Dr. Ifai, good evening to you, sir. Mecca. Ah, good evening. Kofi. Good to have you, sir. Thank you very much for your time. Um, uh, tell us about, a bit about the protest, because we heard that Labour, organized Labour, said it was organizing a protest today, NLC and TUC, in River State. We also heard that... Um, Norge, the National Union of Local Government Employees, are planning a protest. And we also had the Argon, we're planning a protest. It's, it's all confusing, so please tell us what's going on. Yeah, Kofi, uh, thanks for having me. Uh, thanks for your TV station uh, so that we can clarify certain issues. To start with, as a, a labor center, we always try as much as we can to protect our people. After our council meeting, or during our council meeting, we all agreed that our members who work in these various local governments should be allowed to go and do their work. We are not politicians and we are not interested in politics. All we are interested in is for our members to do their work and end their living. So 
The protest which we earlier scheduled, although we suspended it due to uh, certain uh, exigencies, uh, was to pass across our information to the state, the federal government, and to police, the law enforcement agents, that they should uh, allow our members to go back to the council and resume their job because uh, there is no need keeping them in the house at home uh, while they are supposed to be doing their work in the offices. So, so uh, uh, what, is, what is organized labor's interest uh, in, in, in all of this, in this matter? It's a political issue between you know, two political giants in River State and their various camps. So what is the interest of organized labor in, in all of this? We thought maybe Labour will be more interested in national minimum wage, electricity tariff hike, um, the inflation in the country, etc., etc. Yeah, Kofi, you are aware that we've been handling that too uh, as part of the issues we are discussing with the federal government, electricity tariff, minimum wage. But at the same time, too, uh, I think I mentioned it in my earlier input here, that our concern is to let our members go back to their offices and do their work. That is majorly labor's interest in all this. Why are you locking out our members? What did they do? Yes, it's a political matter. So how will it just affect our members negatively? and we just hold our arms as labor leaders. That's our, the labor's interest, that we want our members back to their offices. Mm. All right. Um, are your members part of Algon or part of Nogi? You know that when you talk about labor centers in this country, majorly you have the TUC and the NLC. So our members are, for me, they are TUC and our sister labor center to NLC. They all work in the local government. So I think that's where our interest should lie for now. Okay. Um, uh, we, we had uh, the chairman of uh, Port Harcourt City local government area, Farga, uh, Obele Hunda, who's uh, part of Houston expired uh, last week on Monday, um, say, uh, address the press as the chairman of Algon in River State. We also hear that the 23 Ketaka chairman also released a statement under the ages of Algon. Um, are they all part of Algon together? Do you, are you aware of who is the chairman of Algon you know, in, in River State at, as we speak? Yeah, Kofi, like I told you, uh, we don't really want to go into that and uh, it's none of our business. Like I said, our business is to protect our members, that's a trade union congress and Nigerian level congress who are working in these various local governments. Mm. Okay, uh, I want you to respond to the allegations by Oweli Hunda. He's uh, stated it categorically without missing any words that um, some of your, your members, members of the NLC and TUC uh, have been sponsored you know, by Governor Sim Fubara, um, and even offered um, membership positions in various Ketaka committees of the local governments that he is uh, he's recently appointed. And what, what's your reaction or response to that allegation? Well, as a, a labor leaders, we are not aware of this. And you know, like you said, it's a political matter. So people will whip up sentiments, say certain things to favor them. I will categorically tell you that 
nobody that I know, for instance, and other uh, leaders know that is within this category of people you just mentioned. If he has a proof, he should throw it open to the public, but I bet you uh, there is nothing like that that we know for now. Um, has Governor Fubara um, infiltrated labor in River State? Yeah, but you know that uh, Governor Fubara is the major labor employer in this country, in this state. So if he actually has a discussion with labor on that level, that's all. Because remember too, uh, when if he has if he does anything contrary to the expectation of labor. Labor will come after him too. Labor will want to, you know, straighten the record. So I don't think uh, there is anything different from the relationship that should exist between employer and employer. That, uh, uh, that, that is not different from every other employee-employer relationship between Governor Fubara and Labor. Okay. Uh, so we'll come back to you in, in a jiffy. We want to pay our bills and take some commercials. And I have some more questions for you. Please stay with us. We'll be right back. Welcome back. We have Dr. Kabir, Dr. A.Z. Fine, Council Member of the Treaty Union Congress in River State. Uh, Doc, so, so um, I was asking you if Governor Fubar has infiltrated labor. You say what you have is a normal relationship between an employer and, uh, and the employee. So are you saying that in recent days, uh, Governor Fubara has been relating with the NLC and TUC in River State? Uh, we wouldn't tell you that uh, the governor won't relate with NLC and TUC, but like I told you, if he's relating with TUC and NLC, he's relating with them as somebody who has employed them like if we have any issue even as we are talking now if we have any issue or problem as regards to labor we're going to meet him we're going to ask him questions and if he has any issue as regards to labor relationship it's industrial relation i are issues he's going to talk to us he's going to meet us he's not going to ignore us uh, because there is a, a some level of uh, unrest or disunity within the state or misunderstanding within the state and uh, he will abandon the people working for the state. Organized TUC um, when he when is he, in, in his meetings with you? Uh, can you come back? Uh, yeah, you, 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 well? yeah, you talked about meetings so and, and uh, you talked about also interaction so in his interaction with you or meetings whichever it is uh, what what has he been saying to organized labor no i've not told you that we've had any interaction within this period but i'm telling you that there is nothing wrong if he has any uh, thing to discuss with us or if we have anything to discuss or uh, put to him that nothing stops us from doing that. But as at of moment, we've not had that within this period. But I, nothing rules it out. Okay, do Doctor, is, 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 is there any, an issue. Uh, is any member of uh, organized labor, uh, does any member of organized labor have anything uh, to do with the caretaker committees recently constituted and inaugurated by the governor of River State? and the local government uh, acting chairman? Just like I told you, there is none to the purview of the general labor leaders. Nobody, none of them is a, even a Ketika committee member? Within the circle of the leadership of 
the association and to my own knowledge uh, as a person I don't have any inkling as regards to that. All right. Um, you, you, you earlier said that the protests were going to turn violent, you know, and that's why you heard some people that were taking over your protests and all that. Um, it seems that both sides are calling for the same t thing. Um, you're asking for the barricades to be removed so that your members can go back to work. In other words, uh, you're also saying that uh, the barricades should be removed so that the newly sworn in caretaker chairman can, can start working. That's what you're saying invariably. So can you understand if someone says you're taking sides? Well, uh, it's a matter of uh, different interpretation from different quarters or different people. All we ask is that we want our members back to the office. So if it's the new this one members that should be uh, back to the office as uh, leaders of the local government, uh, we don't have any control over that. Hmm. All right. Uh, we have to go. I want to thank you very much for your time. Uh, Comrade Dr. Eze Fai, uh, Council Member of the Trade Union Congress in River State, we appreciate it. Uh, we'll keep our eyes on this story in River State. Thank you for your time. All right, and that's the size of our package tonight right here on Politics HQ. Uh, we'll keep our eyes on what's uh, going on in Port Harcourt, River State generally. Uh, we have our crew already on the ground in River State, so that underscores uh, our, our attention right here on New Central Television across all our programs to that particular developing story. My name is Kofi Bartel. See you tomorrow. Good night. Mm -hmm.